Hello, welcome to learning ASP.NET Core. This is Madan. Today I'm going to talk about how we can uh, perform background processing and task scheduling in ASP.NET Core using something called Hangfire. So this is the library that we are going to use today, Hangfire. And uh, with Hangfire, we can perform the background processing in very easy and effective way in .NET, in both .NET and .NET Core application and it doesn't require us uh, to have separate service or the process and the good thing about it is uh, open and free for commercial use and all the data or uh, all the um, uh, information about our background processes and schedule tasks are stored in the persistent storage that is database so with hangfire we can uh, choose to use the uh, database and uh, the information that uh, uh, the informations about our process and the schedule task are stored in the database by hangfire and uh, it is very popular library with hangfire we can use uh, run several types of the job we can run fire and forget types of job and we can also run uh, long, run delayed jobs recurring jobs continuations and fire and forget jobs are the jobs that we want say uh, fire and forget so it will dodge its job delayed jobs means uh, we can set jobs to execute after certain uh, time and recurring jobs means uh, the jobs that we want to repeat uh, after some time or at certain interval uh, of the uh, certain interval of day uh, is uh, if we want to uh, repeat our job at the certain time or the certain point then we can use recurring jobs that means the repeated job so let's start and here i have created a mbc application basic asp.net core mbc application now in order to use the hang fire we need to install this hangfire.asp.net core and hangfire.sql server so uh, you can install that from the dependencies and then you get package here so i have already installed them hangfire.aspnet core and hangfire.sql server this hangfire.sql server is used to store the information about our processes and background jobs into the sql server database so you can go ahead and install these two dependencies here after we install those two dependencies we can register hangfire into our service startup class so services.8 hangfire and we can pass options here to configure the hangfire and what we tell is options dot use option dot use sql server storage and then we need to pass the connection string here so we get the connection string from configuration dot get connection get connection string and we can pass the key here default connection so this gets the connection string to our database and here uh, you can specify the connection string in the database here i have specified it to use the sql server and database name is hangfire core both our application and hangfire can use the same database and we are doing the same thing here so our, our application and hangfire shares the same database here once we configure <coughs> to use hang fire here then the another thing is we need to add these two steps here app dot use hang fire dashboard and app dot use hang fire server so hang fire has its own dashboard it provides its own dashboard from where we can manage our task we can schedule we can force them to run or we can even delete the task from the hang fire dashboard so please don't forget to add these two here into this uh, configure method app dot use hang fire dashboard and app dot use hang fire server so with this if i run the application dot net watch run so our application is starting off so this is our application simple scaffolded mbc template and now we can navigate to the url called hang fire so you can see the url here localhost 5001 slash hangfire and if we navigate there then we can see the dashboard hangfire dashboard so i'm going to minimize this so this is a hangfire dashboard so we can access our application from here and we can access hangfire dashboard from 
here and right at the moment we don't have any jobs here so we are not seeing anything here but now we are going to create our jobs very soon and then we will see the list of job here so let's create the job now let's say uh, we want to run some background task then what we can do is from anywhere in our mbc application or asp.net core applications or even .NET application so we can set your background job by using background job dot in queue method and then pass the anonymous function lambda function or the lambda expression here but for simplicity i am just logging some text to the console but uh, you can also replace that with the actual method that you want to execute in the background so this uh, in queue uh, our job and uh, now this job starts so we can see that from hangfire dashboard so let's confirm that our application has started up now let's go over and refresh our application first so i'm going to uh, open that in the separate tab localhost 5001 and then now we have visited the index action of the home controller that means this action now here this action queues the job in the background and that runs so let's refresh the hangfire dashboard and then now if we go over to the job then we can see here the schedule these are the jobs that i run previously but uh, the one job here says that it took 172 milliseconds and it run a few seconds ago so let's click on this and then we can see that here fire and forget job and it has run successfully now let's try another type of job here we have background job dot schedule method with this we can schedule a background job here and then let's uh, i'm also doing the same thing here console console dot write line and then let's write sch schedule job here now with this we can pass the timing information that means at what time we want to start the job so time span dot from minutes and let's give it a minute of value of one so that this job is going to start after one minute so let's save this and let's wait for the application to start again and then let's start let's navigate to the index action of the home so this has fired this should have scheduled the job which starts after one minute from now now let's confirm that from the hang fire dashboard here so let's click on hang fire dashboard and then if we click on the job then we see one job has scheduled here you can see one and then if we click on this then this is the job that has been scheduled just after one minute from when we called that action to schedule the job so this is the scheduled job and it has been scheduled and it has not been run yet but it will run after one minute now we can use another type of job here that means the repeated type of job so this job it starts immediately and the schedule jobs let's say we want to do something at 5 pm today then we can schedule that job at 5 pm to run at 5 pm and uh, we can also have another kind of job say rec uh, recurring job and we can use recurring job to repeat certain tasks over and over so let's say we want to send email to all customer at every midnight then we can use this recurring job let's say you want to send a message to the, our employees or to the customers only once at 5 pm today then you can use schedule so for this also i'm going to use the simple demo here console dot write line and then we can say recurring job recurring job and now with this we need to pass the cron expression here that cron expression specifies the time so it has this format here you can give five star and each star has its own meaning so i'm going to say show you what does that mean so the star first star means the minute second means hour third day fourth month and the fifth day of the week so we can specify basically we can specify time with the cron expression so let's say we want to run mm, our task every 6 pm every 6 pm and uh, let's say 6 is 18 i am going to specify time in 24 hours 
so every 6 p.m and we need to give uh, star slash 18 that means every day 6 p.m and 6 p.m and 30 minutes now at last we need to specify the uh, default time zone here so what we can do, do is time info time zone info dot and i'm going to specify the local time so that it will use this local time zone that i am currently in so let's save this and then let's wait for the application to start so it's starting up and then let's uh, schedule the job first now let's go over to the hang fire click on dashboard now we see the one recurring job here so if i click on here then the job will run it shows that the time is thursday april 16 2020 20, 6 30 pm so it will run at 6 30 pm and it will again run at 6 30 pm tomorrow so this task is the recurring task it repeats and repeats itself so and uh, these are the basic tasks uh, are the most commonly used type of the task that we can perform with the uh, hang fire so i have created a one service here called email service and uh, uh, i have simulated the email sending from this method so i'm not sending actual email but just uh, printing the uh, output with the message and uh, uh, let's say we want to call this method we want to put this method in a uh, repeated job repeated job or the recurring job and execute one to we want to execute that job at certain interval of time daily every day so what we can do is we can do recurring job dot error update and then we can pass a lambda expression here and then now we need to call that service new email email service and let's bring in the namespace for this and it has a method called send email let's send email and now we need to specify the time at which we want to execute this method or run this method so let's say i want to run this method at every five uh, uh, 10 past 5 a.m in the morning so what i can do is i can do 10 minute and then 0 5 every 5 a.m in the morning and three star here and i'm going to pass here the time zone info dot local so let's save this now this will execute this will send email uh, to our customer uh, or this will execute the send email function of our application every day at five at 10 past 5 a.m in the morning so we just need to do this we, not, we, not, we just need to write a, a single line of code to put that process into a uh, to schedule that process and run that process uh, every day or at the specified interval so let's go over to the index slash home slash index and uh, put that tax into scheduling list and then let's refresh our hang fire dashboard now we see the two recurring job here and our one recur recurring job that we created earlier and the new one is now this task will run it um, in 11 hours that means the uh, 5 10 a.m at uh, 17 april of the friday so in this way we can use hang fire uh, to schedule our application task and background processing in a very effective way now we can manage the task we can see the list of the task that has completed that has succeeded and uh, which are scheduled and we can also remove and delete the task from here or if we want to send email now then i can also just trigger now this service by selecting the um, task that has been scheduled so this gives us the great flexibility and uh, this is free for commercial use so this is it for now friend and if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe and share thanks for watching and have a great day